I mean, it feels incredible. It's, it's been so uh, special being part of a team in the Heights. We've kind of we've worked really hard, you know, to get this show here and get it to get it kind of recognised the way that it has been today. So, you know, I've, I've just been it's been absolutely thrilling. I, I, I was just saying I, I was in hid in a corner upstairs, I had a little cry on the phone to my mum. It's just all a bit kind of a bit much, really. It's hard to take in. I called my mum first, then I called my dad, and then I, bo- and then I called my boyfriend. And then I was like, right, I've got to go back downstairs and deal with this. So, yeah. I, I'm really looking forward to it. I think the thing that will absolutely get me is my parents being there. I think it's, you know, I, for whatever reason, my family just make me cry. And um, I think it's because knowing how hard they've worked to help me, you know, they, they don't come from theatre at all. And it's been like, you know, uh, they've learned along the way as I have. And so, you know, whenever these kind of special events happen and I bring my parents out, I'm just a sobbing mess majority of it. And I, I, don't, I don't have any, you know, particular feeling about winning or not feeling. I mean, I feel like I'm recognised with some of the most extraordinary choreographers in the country and having my name read out amongst those people who for years you know people like Stephen Meir and Jerry Mitchell I mean they're like idols of mine so you know it's, and, and they've both been incredibly supportive and generous you know people so I think for me I've, I've already won I'm so thrilled for both of those shows. You know, Bugsy, we kind of started from scratch. You know, it was this really iconic film, and and uh, and you know, Sean Holmes kind of just you know took took the ball by the horns, and we kind of harnessed this incredible like troop, this tribe of young people towards an opening night. And I just know, in fact, I'm supposed to be in rehearsals for them right now, so they'll all be in the all these little kids will be bouncing up and down, getting you know really excited. So yeah, very very proud of, of the Bugsy Malone recognition, and also uh, the Lorax for the old Vic, because that was a, another start from scratch project. So I feel really on top of the world right now. It's been a bit of a whirlwind. This year has been kind of, um, you know, unreal really. I mean, it's been kind of fueled on a lot less sleep and a, a lot more cups of tea, but it's, you know, it's really, really exciting. And, you know, it's kind of, although, you know, I've been working for years and years and years, you know, on London's fringe and it's, it's finally paying off, you know, so I, uh, no, I, I couldn't be happier than I am right now. Well, I'm very, very excited to be kind of doing my directorial debut with Strictly Ballroom. It's a, it's a show that um, that means the world to me. It's a big part of why I do what I do and how I do it. And um, and I kind of I really hope that that manages to kind of harness the audience that I think the story deserves. And so you know, my ambition would be to be able to find an audience for that show and uh, bring that story to life, and hopefully be able to continue to tell stories in that way. You know, both for my own company uh, with Jekyll and Hyde and onwards, and um, and also you know start to direct and choreograph dance-based musicals, and and also continue to just choreograph musicals under you know amazing directors. So I think to just keep working. That's all I can hope for.